been here at Castella Chicani, uh, and then now we're outside. So I'm very excited because I'm gonna try the first, for first time, um, the R6 and the R5 of Canon. So when we talk about natural light, I like to think about, you know, like is, is, all, is if you have any option during the day, you know, in terms of artificial light or natural light, I will always start with natural light. Why? Because I cannot replicate this, you know. Uh, all the nuance, all the different, you know, uh, gradient that the natural light offers to you is something that you cannot really replicate quite exactly. And it's always going to surprise you. So the challenge with the natural light is be able to see it. You know, so there's so much range always. And then I always like to, you know, look at my hands first and just move around and see exactly what it's going to be this photograph. Now, this is a very common setting and I want you guys to see, you know, in terms of the lighting. Like, uh, by the way, if you are watching from California and, you know, Napa, this is kind of type of light that you will see in Napa or Sonoma. You know, it's beautiful. You get, you know, the sun high and then you get, you know, the beautiful landscape in the background, especially because we, you have hills in the background. So I will start, you know, with something that is always going to work, which is backlighted. For por formal portraits, or so just the portrait of the bride and the groom, this work every time and it's going to look beautiful. Now, because I want to try this camera, so what I want to do is hire my friend here to walk towards me. So first of all, um, if you come from film, if you're not, you know, best way to expose, you know, is really actually getting close, exposed for the skin and then move back. So that way, it doesn't matter how, what point you are, from that point on, you can move. Maybe you're gonna be a little bit blown out in the background, but at the end of the day, her skin and her face, which is what really matters, is gonna be perfect, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna get really close and expose perfectly for her skin, making sure she looks great, okay? And that's it. And then now I'm gonna ask my friend to go a little bit wrong way back. And then, and this is, this is the test. And I want one of you guys come really close to me, wait, wait, come close to me. And let's just listen to this. Boy, okay, now it's gonna follow the focus. Keep coming, keep coming, faster, faster. Perfect, all that, easy. So this is the fire test <laughs> for the cannon. Yep. So if, you are, if you're shooting a bride coming down the aisle, this is awesome. It focuses right on the eye and it doesn't matter how much you move or how, much of, how quick your subject is moving, it's in focus. That is a huge relief, so you don't have to worry really about the camera. Just focus on the person that you have in front of you. This is the R5, okay? Let me check. Let me check, check, check. Okay, perfect. Okay. Same deal. Okay, perfect. So when you see, when uh, the way I see backlighted is easy. The background have to be darker, right? If you are right here and then you go low, what you have, you know, is a nice frame, which we can use to create what is a flare, right? And then if you come up here, what you see is this beautiful halo of light around her and it's more visible and more obvious when you have a darker background, okay? So that is the first thing you do. So let's, let's focus on that. Let's start very simple, okay? So for this one, I want you to, Play here and then come back and now perfect like that. Perfecto. And then go low and down. Perfect. And just keep moving. Keep moving. Perfect. And come back to me. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. And then chin down, forget about me, and then give me one of this. There we go. 
Can you play with your hair a little bit more? Awesome. Yes, you can see nothing with this one. Beautiful. Hold that. And then, now let me do, now let me look, let me look for a flare. Now, light's a little bit high right now. So what I'm gonna do is change from these amazing cameras and go back to my old friend, the 85, 1.2. And let me check this guy over here. So to create flares, the rule is easy. You have to leave, you have to let the light get into the camera, straight into the camera. So it's about the angle. Sunset is ideal, right? But now because you have the heels, you would never get like sunset quite there. So you have to go low. And as a rule, as a general rule, you always want to go a little bit low because you clean the, the composition. When you go down, like you, as you can see, the line of the horizon, the horizon is goes low, so she's in a cleaner background right away, okay? So, now I won't have to go even lower to really get the light on me. Let me, let me check here. Focus on my friend here. Perfect. Beautiful. So as you can see, what I'm doing is just letting the light hitting a straight on my face and getting a straight on the lens. Let me see, three, two, one, and perfect. Thank you. Keep moving. That's perfect. Can you play with your dress a little bit more? Let's do that. Yeah. So the exposure that I'm looking for here is not quite blown out. It's kind of in between. Okay, perfect. Can you walk back a little bit more? And then I'm going to go low slightly more. Perfect. And come back to me. So, there's something interesting always to try. So, let me try with this. I found this, this is plexiglass that I found around here. And what I'm gonna do is make the flare more evident. How, how you can see the flare. So, it's like if you, if you squint, if you have the light on your face and you squint a little bit, your eyelashes will make this pattern of colors, you know, that's the flare. So this is exactly what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to focus on, on in an edge to make everything darker and create this flare of light more evident. Okay, so I need you to walk closer to me. Keep coming. That's great. That's perfect because of the light is hitting, you know, this, this piece of glass is giving me a little bit more, is revealing himself pretty much, because the light has all the colors in it. And then you will see it tomorrow when we do the post-processing, how, how all these colors came to life when you shoot it. There we go. Perfect, and then Come back here, towards the light, and with this perfect one, two, and stay there, hold that. Great. Okay, awesome, stay there. Look up over there. That's beautiful. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amazing. Now, what I'm gonna do is lower the shutter speed quite a bit. My ISO is 100, and then my aperture is 1.4. And then I'm gonna move 
the reflection a little bit faster as she posed for me. Go back with the silhouette. Perfect. Right there. Awesome. So what I'm the effect that I'm creating right now is the motion. But it's not really her motion blur that you do with the flash. It's just my reflector that I'm that I'm creating with this moving. So we're gonna give the impression that it's a flare of light with motion, but it's it's only like you can tell the plexiglass revealing the light itself. Oh, and give me some silhouette, and there we go. Very ethereal, I love it.